LTE networks in the mobile industry uh, will expose the network to new and more threats. The LTE network, by definition, has two types of technologies that are becoming more advanced. One is on the bandwidth size, uh, using new technologies on the cellular or radio uh, area. Uh, it will allow mobile devices to communicate with higher throughput or higher bandwidths. Of course, there are a lot of advantages uh, uh, by doing that because the mobile devices or the smart devices would be able to communicate like any other uh, personal uh, computer. On the other hand, because the bandwidth is more, um, it's larger now, uh, they will be exposed to more attacks. For example, uh, if a mobile device uh, allows us to talk or communicate with very high throughput, it can also create a situation for attackers that will allow them to infect these mobile devices with uh, bot malware that will use the resources of the computing uh, um, mobile device in order to generate a uh, well-organized distributed null of service. Each mobile device will be able to generate more bandwidth as part of the attack and by that the threat will be become um, a lot higher uh, and we will see more and more distributed null of service attacks that are now conducted by mobile devices. So this is one part of the LTE security consideration that we need to analyze. Another part is that the core network of the mobile operator, operator that use LTE technologies become only IP. If in the past there was IP network and a voice network, now it's all IP. The advantage that it provides, of course, to the mobile operators and for the user is that the flexibility of IP networks, meaning that you can integrate more application, more value-added services in easier way, and by that create a more um, revenue generation uh, businesses for the, for the mobile operator that use LTE. On the other end, it exposed the core network of the mobile operator to all the known vulnerabilities that we are aware of in the IP networks, including uh, exploitation of operating systems in order to um, uh, put them in the out of service condition or in order to take control over this network, and of course, uh, attacks in the application level that are running on top of these IP networks. All of that will expose the core networks of the LTE operator as well as the uh, mobile devices to more types of attacks. In order to create a better framework of security, all these new challenges need to be addressed. It will take some time, but uh, at this stage we see that uh, the network is being analyzed differently. Uh, which will uh, require more and more technologies, security technology, to be integrated into the LTE network.